Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I picked up in Vegas for my little trip that I took not too long ago. I actually really wanted to vlog, but it was kind of hard because they're a little bit more strict there um, when it comes to like filming and taking pictures compared to other places. So I didn't really get to, you know, vlog that much while I was shopping. And I feel like that's kind of the thing that you guys will probably mainly want to see so I decided not to vlog but I did manage to take some pictures which I will be sharing with you guys in today's video. I'll also be sharing with you guys like what the experience was like in Vegas with COVID and everything and what the restrictions are. So if you are curious about that or if you're planning to take a trip there I will be going over everything that I noticed with you guys. But before we get started if you could just please hit that subscribe button down below. I upload videos twice a week and I really love luxury so if that's your thing as well I would really really love if you join my channel. Alright, so I am going to be unboxing a handbag in this video. Comment down below if you guys were watching my Instagram stories and if you have a guess of what I bought. I seriously doubt that you'll be able to guess, but try your luck anyway. Alright, so I'm going to kind of start at the beginning of our trip. I basically haven't taken any trips in over a year, like since COVID happened and since we came back from our wedding and our honeymoon in February 2020. So I didn't really know what to expect, but as you guys may know, I do live in Denver. So we took a flight from Denver to Las Vegas, which was about an hour long. It wasn't long at all. Um, the only thing that changed with flying is that you just have to wear a mask on the flight. When we got to Vegas, it was a little bit eerie because like we got there in the morning. So granted, it's not like a busy time or anything, but but like when we got to the taxi stand at the airport to take a taxi to the hotel, there was literally nobody waiting in line, which I've never experienced before ever. I mean, all of the trips that I take to Vegas have usually been on weekdays and it was just so bizarre, like not seeing anybody there. So when we got to the hotel, we stayed at Planet Hollywood, by the way, which was a really great hotel. I've never stayed there before, but it was really clean and very inexpensive. I think that normally it's inexpensive, but I think because of COVID, they're really bringing down their prices just to get people in the casino. So yeah, when we checked into Planet Hollywood, it was still kind of a little bit eerie. I mean, honestly, there weren't that many people there, but like I said, it was during the daytime. We got there around 10 a.m., so I think a lot of people were also, you know, checking out of Vegas to go back home around that time, so that's also probably why it wasn't that busy. Restaurants and everything were pretty much still the same. There really wasn't any social distancing, but there were, you know, masks required at all times when you're indoor literally in any establishment in Vegas except for when you're eating and drinking and honestly as far as I can tell that was like the only thing that changed I mean I don't think every show was open but we just chose not to go to any because we were only there for two days but for the people who keep asking me you know like what's changed what's open what's not open I want to say pretty much everything is open it's just open with restrictions all right so after we had lunch uh, my mom and I immediately proceeded to do a little bit of shopping we went to the Bellagio Hotel hotel which has a Chanel and that was obviously our first stop. Now I do have an essay that I've been working with in Chanel in Vegas um, for a long time. She actually helped me get that you know Chanel 19s bag but um, she wasn't there when we visited. It was so funny. Um, she was actually visiting her son in California literally the day that we were visiting Vegas. So I still haven't seen her in like over three years, but that's okay. I still buy stuff from her all the time. Um, so my mom and I went in and honestly, it was not as exciting as I thought it would be. I know that sounds really sad, but you know, Chanel just really doesn't have any stock, but I feel like it's like that with all of the really popular brands nowadays. Everybody keeps saying like they're not getting any shipments in and then when pieces do come in, especially for Chanel, all of like the regular clients kind of like grab everything first before pieces even hit the floor. So when you go shopping in person, it's really, really hard to find, you know, the popular items, which unfortunately for me meant all of the pink items. Pink has been such a popular um, color this year that there just wasn't anything left in store. But I knew that like going in because I had talked to my essay about it beforehand. We didn't really even try on that much. I mean, they had the, um, 
summer 2021 act two collection but everything was so bright and neon that it just wasn't my style at all so I ended up not trying any bags on and yeah the shopping experience was kind of like it wasn't I was gonna say sad but you know, if that's not anybody's fault, it's just because they didn't really have stock and I'm just so particular with my taste. I'm sure a lot of other people do have fun. It's just for me, there wasn't anything to like really see or buy, but I still had a good time. My mom did end up buying something, like I said. So, you know, it's just fun being in store and being able to actually see stuff in person. And then after that, we decided to go to Caesars and that is actually where I bought the item that I bought. You know what? I'm actually going to unbox it, um, like, kind of in the middle of my story so that this whole video isn't just, you know, me rambling on about our trip. So I think one person guessed this on Instagram, but I did buy a Gucci item. <laughs> I know it's so crazy I've unboxed so much Gucci this year on my channel it's like unbelievable um, but we did go into Gucci and this bag seriously caught me by surprise I never ever thought I would own this so I think you guys will be really surprised too so mine just came in a dust bag but the essay working there did say that he'll ship me the box for free I didn't want to bring the box with me on the plane but I still wanted it so he said it was really easy you know just to ship the box oh by the way the shoes that my mom bought from Chanel she also didn't want to carry them back with her because we didn't really have any luggage with us so Chanel actually shipped her shoes to her as well and she'll be getting them either today or tomorrow anyways so I'm really excited about this bag I'm more excited just to like shock you guys like seriously you are not gonna believe it all right so the bag that I picked up is <laughs> the Gucci Jackie bag <laughs> it's so funny like I never thought I would own this bag. So if you guys don't know, the Gucci Jackie bag is one of the classics of Gucci. I think this bag has been around since I want to say like the 70s, maybe even longer. It was actually named after Jackie Kennedy because she was photographed wearing this bag a lot back then and I think it really reached the height of its popularity like around the 90s. I mean you can kind of tell like from the way that this bag is. So there are a couple of different reasons why I chose this bag. First of all, obviously the color. This is literally my very favorite pink color ever in the world. It's really similar to my Chanel 9 series um, vintage pieces and of course it's the same color as my Gucci Marmont here as well. They're in different leathers so that's why it just looks slightly different um, but this is in like a shiny calfskin leather. So yeah that was the main reason why I fell in love with this bag. The second thing is that it has gold hardware which as you can see from this bag this bag is silver hardware so when I saw this one combined with the gold I was just like Oh my god, so in love. The last thing is that I just feel like I've been so influenced by this style lately. As you guys may know, a lot of different brands are doing this style of bag. I've literally seen every single brand do it from YSL to Gucci to Prada like literally all of the brands are doing some sort of bag like this with the short shoulder strap I honestly think it's just because you know the 90s are coming back in and the style bag is coming back in now the reason why I chose this one and I never even thought I would like buy this style of bag before is because I feel like this style is really trendy right now and the brands like YSL who are making their own version of it are really just um, cashing in on like the popularity of this trend whereas this Jackie bag has actually been a staple in um, like Gucci's lineup for a long time they don't always make it but they have brought it back from time to time whenever it's been popular so it's like a classic bag to the brand but they've like updated it for like this season or this like trend does that make sense so even though yeah a lot of different brands are doing the style bag there was only ever really a chance of me buying either this one or maybe like the Prada re-edition bag but the only thing I didn't like about the Prada one compared to this one is that it was in you know like their nylon fabric and not leather although I do feel like the color was slightly darker as well so I think ultimately I would have preferred this one in all aspects um this one is also like one of the largest that I've seen of this style it can hold so so much and it's just one compartment let me actually show you how it works so it's just got this like little um jackie lock and there is a little push thing right there and then it's just one main compartment with a zipper pocket and a slip pocket in the front i used this bag right after i got it and i could carry so much in here like it's 
pretty much endless. Um, so I would say this is definitely one of my bigger bags. And when I was looking at this color, it actually only came in three bags in store. So there's this one, and then there's also a mini Jackie bag, which was like really, really mini. It was similar to like the Louis Vuitton mini pochette, like it was that small. So obviously that one was definitely a no for me. And then there's also like this tote bag style one. I took pictures of it for you guys. And I was actually going to go for that one because it's more like classically the style of bag that I like. But... It was more expensive and at the same time I just didn't really feel like there's anything special to it. Like it was nice and I feel like yeah I would have used it but it kind of just looks so similar to the bags that I already own that I was just like there's nothing really that unique about it. Whereas this one yeah it's like a classic or whatever but it's so different from anything that I have in my collection. And another thing that they did that updates the style is that they have this strap that comes with it so you can actually extend this strap right here. Um, just take it out of the little um, clasp and then you can make it into a crossbody bag style. It's not the most comfortable because this strap isn't that malleable and I think it looks a little bit funny. I don't know if I would ever wear it that way but I'd like that it has the feature and the option in case you are someone who needs a crossbody bag sometimes and you know this strap will come in handy. But yeah what do you guys think? I actually think it looks really really cute on me. I mean look at it with like this set that I have on right here. I actually wore this in Vegas and thought it went really well with this outfit and I don't know I just think it's really really nice and you know it wasn't too too crazy expensive it was still very expensive but it wasn't like Chanel prices or anything you know so I do feel like having a more unique bag like this in my collection you know really helps round it out and I do think that I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of this and before I forget the price was around $2,300 I believe before tax. Alright so after we went shopping a little bit in Gucci my mom actually bought a couple of things as well. I I actually wanted to unbox them on this channel for you guys but you let me know if you want to see that because they aren't my items but I still feel like we have such similar styles that you guys will really like what she got as well and because they're things that I don't have it might be a good opportunity to see a couple of different things that you might not see on my channel so let me know um you know in the comment section down below if you want to see that as well and it does include a brand new bag too. All right so after that we went into Ted Bay which we don't have a Ted Baker store here in Denver so I was really excited I still really love that brand although I don't really buy their bags anymore I've actually kind of just gotten more into buying their clothing so I picked up this cardigan and I think you guys are gonna love it so it looks like this you can see right it's definitely like my style it's so classy and pretty and it totally reminds me of something you know maybe Chanel would make when I saw this I absolutely had to have it it was also not crazy expensive like I was saying it was actually $175 so yes expensive for a cardigan but for a cardigan like with this kind of quality I think it's really really well priced I mean you can just tell by looking at this that this is totally my style all right so that was all for the items that I picked up but I will share a little bit more about my trip um, in case you are interested so after we went shopping Noah and I actually broke out from the group and decided to go to a fancy dinner the only thing that I will say is that if you are eating anywhere try to get a reservation first because there seemed to be a lot of people waiting in line um, to get into restaurants and stuff if they didn't have a reservation so we ended up eating at the Eiffel Tower Hotel it took me a long time to decide on what to eat because usually we don't go out to any of the fancy restaurants in Vegas so there were a lot to choose from but ultimately we decided on the Eiffel Tower Hotel because it has a really great view um, you could see the Bellagio fountain from there it was so beautiful and you know the food was good I'm not really into fancy food I mean I just pretty much like Thai food and spicy food and usually fancy food doesn't have that so I was gonna be fine you know no matter where we ate and then afterwards we just went gambling had some drinks and that was it for the first day and then after that my mom and I went shopping again she actually shopped in Hermes for a little bit we had never been shopping in Hermes in Vegas before so we ended up going to the Hermes in the crystal crystal shops or crystal shops I don't know it's the little shopping mall in between the cosmopolitan and the Aria Hotel. They were taking appointments but they were also doing a lot of walk-in so we ended up just walking in and meeting this really nice lady called Lana. She helped us out and she was just so so kind. 
Um, the only thing is that it was kind of like the situation with Chanel where they didn't have any stock of anything pretty much. I mean, they weren't kidding. Like she opened the drawers where they usually keep the SLGs and it was drawer after drawer just like empty, empty, empty. So um, they didn't really have any of like the smaller pieces and obviously like we weren't looking to buy a bag or anything. So she ended up just getting one item. She got a silk scarf, which is really, really beautiful. And if you guys let me know if you do want to see um, that haul of the items that my mom did buy, I will include that as well so yeah just let me know in the comment section and then yeah after that we kind of walked around a little bit more my mom and I went to the Venetian and then we met up with everybody else for dinner at Din Tai Fung in the Aria Hotel and it was really awesome and pretty much that was my whole trip I mean I was only there for two days not even two full days so I feel like we got a lot done in that short amount of time and I'm really really happy with the items that I did pick up and just so so excited that we got a little mini vacation as well now before I I go I did want to mention May's giveaway in the month of May I'm giving away this perfume by Hermes which is called the Twilly d'Hermes if you want to enter to win this perfume all you have to do is leave this emoji in the comment section down below you can comment in as many videos as you'd like in the videos that I upload in May please also make sure you're leaving your Instagram username as well in the comment you do have to be subscribed to me here on YouTube and follow me on Instagram to win and yeah with that I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you liked seeing what I got into in Vegas and I will see you next time. Bye. I told you I'm not yours anymore. No, I'm not yours. So why are you trying to hold on?